The Wisconsin corn crop is off to a fast start. We're visiting today with Joe Lauer, Department of Agronomy, University of Wisconsin Extension, and the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm C.V. Kenyon. Joe, can you start out by telling us what's going on out there this season? Farmers were able to get off to a good start with uh, corn planting. We have some of the earliest planting of corn we've ever had. Uh, By May 1st, we had 50% of the corn crop planted. But in general, the crop, um, much much of Wisconsin is off to a pretty good start, except for the eastern part of the state. And what does this early planting mean, and how early are we talking about here? Well, it's really the earliest 50% mark we've ever had in Wisconsin. Uh, and these records were started in 1979. Planting date in general just gotten earlier and earlier. But one of the characteristics of a high-yielding year is that we have an early planting date. And that basically kind of sets up the crop for the entire year. And if farmers can get the crop in and get it stop, started and off to a good start, usually that... Uh, bodes well for uh, the rest of the season, but we're only two weeks into the season. A lot can happen. What's it like in the rest of the Corn Belt, Joe? Well, the rest of the Corn Belt has enjoyed uh, early planting dates as well. Much of the Corn Belt's in pretty good shape. And what were some of the unusual things you've noticed so far this season, Joe? This was one of the years where um, I actually started planting before I was done harvesting last year's crop. Uh, we planted our first planting date March 31st, and we had our last harvest date from the 2009 crop on April 15th. And that was probably the most unusual thing I've seen. The other unusual thing was that March 31st planting date actually emerged in April. It emerged about April 26th. That is the earliest. I've never had corn emerge uh, in April before. Much of that corn is already out of the ground, Joe. What does this mean, and what does this look like down the road for the rest of the season? Uh, in general, you want to get the crop emerge as early as you can, and um, that uh, basically sets up the season. And the other thing that it does is at the end of the season, you tend to have lower moistures, grain moistures, uh, during harvest, which uh, in today's energy uh, costs um, can be a significant factor in profitable grain production. We're off to a fast start, but there's still some corn yet to be planted. What's the situation with that? Well, in the, nor- in the eastern side of the state, many growers still haven't turned a wheel, and uh, they're looking at some getting into a situation now where they'll have to probably start switching out maturities of corn. Rather than growing a full-season hybrid, they'll have to grow something shorter season. So right now, though, we're faced with these switch dates and also just assessing how good of a stand we've got out there and whether we need to replant or not. We've been visiting with Joe Lauer, Department of Agronomy, University of Wisconsin Extension, and the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm C.V. Kenyon.